Before I started avidly record collecting, I actually went down to Young Ones and picked up a record by the group Vampire Weekend. Um, and I played that on my mother's old uh, denim covered Sears briefcase model record player. Um, I think it was sold, I broke the needle off of it, uh, playing it twice. Um, and I was super careless with it. I scratched the thing up like four times. And that was before I knew like proper record care and things like that, you know, making sure they're all upright, making sure that you clean them off at least once or twice so they don't get too dusty. Unlike CDs, I think there's a, like a warm quality almost to the sound uh, that comes out of a good record, a really well-pressed record. It's something that you can definitely hear and it's hard to describe, um, but it's something that almost is like just the right volume. It fills a room and it just kind of makes you feel a certain way. Oh, that's from like um, 2013, so I mean, like, it's not like. Brand. So I think a lot of the appeal of vinyl is sound for a certain segment of people that buy it, and then for another segment, and possibly both, of course, um, it's how it looks and the fact that it's tactile, and people are getting back into that. We've been in Kut Sound for 27 years, and we have had vinyl during all of that time, but they really stopped pressing most new releases on vinyl. So we shrank the space, square footage that we devoted to it for years, to the point where we almost considered eliminating it. Then the first record store day happened, and vinyl started to seep back into popularity and at that time it was really just special releases but since then practically every new release comes out on vinyl. It's probably a $50 record now. When you compare it to a CD or when you compare it to a cassette it's big and it, there's art to it, and uh, they open up, and there's information in it, and uh, I just love music and reading about music and learning about music, and I think it's a great way to do it. More than five, less than 10,000. This is the stuff I haven't listened to yet. When I listen to them, then I move them home and put them in my home room like this. There, there's just something really cool about records. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, the whole thing of opening it up and putting it on and listening to it and then getting up and turning it over and playing the other side. Uh, there's just a whole process, a whole thing about that. Hear that sound? 